Bomber is a combat aircraft designed to attack ground and naval targets by dropping air-to-ground weaponry, such as bombs, firing torpedoes and bullets, or deploying air-launched cruise missiles. Today, we will show you the 10 best bombers in the world. Dassault Mirage 4 the Dassault Mirage 4 is a French jet-propelled supersonic strategic bomber and deep reconnaissance aircraft. Developed by Dassault Aviation, the aircraft entered service with the French Air Force in October 1964. The Mirage 4 is powered by two turbojets. It can reach high supersonic speeds. The aircraft is redlined at Mach 2.2 at altitude because of airframe temperature restrictions, although it is capable of higher speeds. The atomic bomb AN-11 or AN-22 is located in an armored fairing under the fuselage. General Dynamics F-111 the General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark is an American supersonic, medium-range interdictor and tactical attack aircraft that also fills the roles of strategic nuclear bomber, aerial reconnaissance aircraft, and electronic warfare aircraft in its various versions. Developed in the 1960s by General Dynamics, it first entered service in 1967 with the United States Air Force. The aircraft was designed to attack ground targets using conventional and nuclear weapons. It was called a fighter, but it is in fact a fighter bomber, designed primarily to isolate the war zone and replace the Republic F-105 aircraft in this role. The F-111 features an internal weapons bay that can carry bombs, a removable 20mm M61 cannon, or auxiliary fuel tanks. Sukhoi Su-24 The Su-24 frontline bomber is manufactured by the Sukhoi Design Bureau Joint Stock Company, based in Moscow, and the Novosibirsk Aircraft Production Association, Novosibirsk, Russia. The Su-24 entered service in 1975. The Su-24 is armed with air-to-surface missiles. It is also armed with CAB 50OKR TV-guided and CAB 1500L laser-guided air bombs supplied by the Region State Research and Production Enterprise of Moscow. The aircraft can carry up to six rocket pods. The weight of conventional bomb armaments amounts to between 7.5 tons and 8 tons. Sukhoi Su-34 The Su-34 fighter bomber has been developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau Joint Stock Company, Moscow, and the Novosibirsk Aircraft Production Association at Novosibirsk, Russia. Full rate production began in January 2008. Under a state contract with the Russian Ministry of Defense, Sukhoi will deliver the Su-34 bombers to the Russian Air Force and Army units until 2020. The aircraft has 10 hardpoints for weapon payloads and is able to carry a range of missiles, including air-to-air, air-to-surface, anti-ship, and anti-radiation missiles, guided and unguided bombs, and rockets. Xi'an H-6 The Xi'an H-6 is a license-built version of the Soviet Tupolev Tu-16 twin-engine jet bomber built for China's People's Liberation Army Air Force. This bomber is intended to attack priority targets and engage U.S. carrier battle groups. The H-6 can carry 9,000 kilograms of payload, including various air-to-surface missiles, air-to-ship missiles, or freefall bombs. This aircraft has nuclear attack capabilities. Some of the versions can carry air-launched cruise missiles. This bomber is fitted with two Xi'an WP-8 turbojets. Tupolev 295 
The Tupolev 295 is a large, four-engine turboprop strategic bomber. First flown in 1952, the 295 entered service with the Soviet Union in 1956 and is expected to serve the Russian Aerospace Forces until at least 2040. The aircraft has four Kuznetsov NK-12 engines with contra-rotating propellers. It is the only propeller-powered strategic bomber still in operational use today. The main weapon of the 295 is the KH-55 Air Launch Cruise Missile. It is a long-range standoff weapon. There are both conventionally armed and nuclear versions of this missile. 295 aircraft are capable of lifting up to 12,000 kilograms of combat load. Boeing B-52 Stratofortress The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is an American long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. The bomber is capable of carrying up to 70,000 pounds, 32,000 kilograms of weapons, and has a typical combat range of more than 8,800 miles, 14,080 kilometers, without aerial refueling. This aircraft replaced the B-36 and B-47. At subsonic speeds at altitudes of up to 15 kilometers, it is capable of carrying various types of weapons, including nuclear weaponry. The main task for which the B-52 was being developed was to deliver two thermonuclear bombs of high power to anywhere in the USSR. Rockwell B-1 Lancer The Rockwell B-1 Lancer is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy bomber used by the United States Air Force. It is commonly called the Bone from B-1. It is one of three strategic bombers in the U.S. Air Force fleet as of 2018, the other two being the B-2 Spirit and the B-52 Stratofortress. At the end of the Cold War, the B-1 lost its nuclear strike role and was re-rolled instead for conventional warfare. The B-1's ability to carry up to 34,020 kilograms of bombs internally, more than any other bomber, provides added flexibility to the USAF's combat operations. Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, is an American heavy strategic bomber, featuring low observable technology designed for penetrating dense anti-aircraft defenses. The bomber can deploy both conventional and thermonuclear weapons, such as up to 8,500-pound class 230-kilogram MK-82 JDAM Global Positioning System Guided Bombs or 16,2400-pound 1,100-kilogram B-83 nuclear bombs. The USAF had originally wanted 132 aircraft, but funding restrictions restricted the fleet to being completed with just 21 aircraft. Tupolev Tu-160 the Tupolev Tu-160 is a supersonic heavy strategic bomber designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. It is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft, the fastest bomber now in use, and the largest and heaviest variable sweep wing airplane ever flown. The Tu-160 was the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union. The Tu-160 has a range of 12,300 kilometers. It was the second Soviet bomber after the Tu-95 that could reach the United States without in-flight refueling. The Tu-160 is armed with KH-55 cruise missiles and KH-15 air-to-surface missiles. The aircraft can carry a total of 12 KH-55 and up to 24 KH-15 missiles. Both of these missiles can carry nuclear warheads. The Tu-160 can also carry freefall bombs with a maximum weight of up to 40 tons. These bombers are intended to attack top-priority enemy targets. 
That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the bombers you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.